Okay, here you can see that I've modeled out the next spike. If you look at the image planes, you can see that it's tilted off to the side. That's just so that these two spikes don't interfere with one another, but we're going to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is switch over to rotate, select that spike. Then we're going to rotate it just slightly. That looks pretty good. So now I want to move it over. I don't want it exactly where the image plane is because we're not using image planes on this model. We're using actual geometry. So I want to go ahead and move it over a little bit farther. And another thing that I want to do is I want to rotate it like that. Now the exact placement doesn't really matter because if it if it's in the wrong spot, we can always move it later. But we want to get it close for right now. Now we notice that by looking at the other image planes, these are all the same spike. One of them is facing the opposite direction. So we will need to turn that, flip that all the way around. But the first thing that we want to do is we want to duplicate this spike. So if we come up here to object, we have duplicate objects, which is shift D. So you can use the shortcut or you can click this. And then now you'll notice that we can move this down into place. So I'm going to get it close and I'm going to rotate it into place. Something like that. Now we're going to notice that this one's a little bit farther out. So switch to our move. We're going to pull it out a little bit. Now you're going to notice that this one tilts quite a bit more. So if we go into rotate, then we can rotate this out. Turn it a little bit, maybe go back up. Something like that. And again, like I said, this doesn't need to be perfect. Just close. Okay, so now we have that one in place. I'm going to go back up here, and I'm going to duplicate this one. And the reason that I'm duplicating this one is because... Hang on, let me delete that. The reason I'm duplicating this one is because this is pretty much in the right spot for the other one. It just needs to be flipped around. So then we're going to go duplicate object. We're going to move this one down. Now there's no point in rotating it that way just yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Z. And we're going to spin it around. Now you're going to notice that obviously it's tilting the wrong way. So let's do that. Let's tilt it back. And then we can turn it. And we're going to move it roughly like that. Okay, so now let's get it rotated a little bit better. And let's move it. So the idea is just that it's not on top of this one, and it's not in the way of this one. Okay, so now we have those set up. You can actually turn this off. And those look pretty good. We might make some more adjustments to them, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the last set of spikes modeled out and we'll get them put into place. And then once we get them put into place, then we can carry on. I'll see you in the next video.